So here we have a classical conical pendulum problem. Now again, you can see the question down the bottom and I'm not going to read it out for you. We are going to deconstruct it by drawing a diagram. So I'm going to make this very simple diagram here. So what we have here is our vertical here and then this is going to be the buoy over here. Very simple. Physics likes using blocks and circles and we know we have an unknown angle and we know that the period in this case is equal to three seconds and we know that the radius at which he spins at is going to be equal to four meters and we're asked to find how fast he's going and we're asked to find what the angle here is. Well, how fast he's going is relatively straightforward because all we need to know is the circumference and the period that it takes, which is basically distance over time, and that will give us the velocity. So the velocity is equal to 2 pi r over t. Now, of course, r is equal to our value of 4, our t is equal to 3, and you're going to get a value of 8.37 meters per second. So that is his velocity. But now we're getting into the uh, aspect of the fact that it's a conical pendulum. And the key here is, is to appreciate the fact of the forces acting on the buoy. Now the first force that's acting on the buoy is the mg. The second force that is acting is the tension, which is going to be this value here. And those two combined, those two vectors add up to give us our centripetal force, which is Fc. Now the angle, as you can see, can be determined by simply moving this vector, which is downward, up to here. So we're going to put this vector over here, and it's the same vector. Now, as a result, you can see that using a simple trig ratio, we can work out what the angle, that is, the tan of the angle is equal to the opposite, which is our Fc, over our Mg. But our Fc is equal to Mv squared over R, all over our mg, and you'll notice now that the m's cancel out. In other words, this situation is independent of the mass of the buoy in this case. So what we end up getting is equal to v squared over gr. So tan theta is equal to v squared over gr. Now our v is given, our g is given 9.8 meters per second squared, our r of course is 4 meters, so the angle can now be determined. It's simply theta is equal to 60.8 degrees. And there is our conical pendulum. Hope that's helped you understand conical pendulums a little better. Please watch more videos.